My name is David Ramirez, uh, and I'm the oldest of four children in my family, um, and I'm originally from St. John Vianney Parish. So I wanted to be a priest since I was little, and throughout high school, I um, th that was what I wanted to do. I wanted to be a priest, and so I decided to apply right, uh, right after high school, um, but I ended up going to the Uni University of Houston for um, a year studying hotel and restaurant management, and after that one year, I uh, finished the application for the seminary and I entered that following year. So I, I was able to serve a lot when I was young at, ma uh, at Mass, and I, and I would love to do that. I would love to look at the priest and see him on the altar and uh, see him offering Mass. I was thinking about the fact that a priest has the gift of being able to bring Jesus down to earth and unite his people, God's children, to God through our Lord in the Holy Eucharist. I would love to see him be that father, that spiritual father to his parishioners, um, to see them whenever they were happy, excited, whenever they were sad and in distress, or whenever they were worried about something, they go to the priest. They go to ask him for help, for guidance, for questions. But he was he was a father to them. And I love that aspect of the priest, of being able to be give myself up, not just for my like my particular wife and my family but to everybody to give myself to God to be able to serve all of his children so um the, this the thought of that the thought of, the thought of being able to offer the sacraments in the name of Christ the thought of being able to reconcile people to God um, and unite them back to God through the sacraments and through the Holy Eucharist that was thinking about that that was that stirred up a great desire in my heart um, and there, there were times when I really couldn't put all of this to words. I just remember growing up, I would love being at Mass and just being able to be that like that close to the Holy Eucharist. Um, just a desire that grew and stirred in my heart that I really couldn't explain a lot of the times. But I knew that whenever I saw a priest, I I, I just wanted to do that. I wanted to to, to be that, to be that um, image of Christ, of, of God to his people. So for me, one of the greatest gifts of seminary, when I entered and shocked me the most, was being able to look around and see all these men from all these different backgrounds, all these different personalities, characteristics, their quirks, their, um, their, their strangeness, but then also that the goodness that they have of being open to discern what God wants for them. For me, like one of the greatest gifts of seminary is being able to be together with a whole bunch of men that have the, the same desire to grow in holiness and to discern the will of God, to pray together, to live together, which, mind you, is also one of the greatest challenges of seminary, being able to, like, having to live uh, in such closeness with so many guys. Um, but it's also, it ends up being one of the greatest gifts because the friendships that we make in seminary, the fraternity that builds um, with these men as you suffer together with, like, hard classes or, like, the with different personalities, but also like the great joys that come when we serve the people of God together, when we um, just enjoy each other's company and have fun together. Um, it's one of the most beautiful gifts in seminary. I guess my greatest desire for the priesthood is to be a priest that loves, that loves God first and foremost, um, and is not afraid to give himself to God in every situation of every day. I would like, I ask God for the grace to be a priest who loves unconditionally, who loves without any hesitation at every second of every day, every moment. It's always a desire to love in whatever I do. Um, love God and love the people of God. Love his children. And um, with that same love that the Heavenly Father has for us, to be able to show that love to his people, um, in the way that I serve them, in the way that I talk to them, in the way that I offer the sacraments, in the way that I teach them. So one of the recent experiences that I had, um, that out of many, because there were many times that have come up where I, I questioned the Lord in frustration of like, Lord, am I doing what you want me to do? Am I like fit for, or for being a priest? Am I doing what I'm supposed to be doing? And of course, nobody's worthy or nobody's going to be perfectly fit to be a priest. But, um, but there's times when you, when you question that, when you see um, 
that it, 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 your weaknesses and you think about whether you're, you're ready or you can do this or you can be a priest and serve the people of God well. And I remember coming to the chapel um, one day and just sitting there um, on the bench, on the floor, and asking the Lord, Lord, am, am I doing what you want me to do? How can I do this when I have so many weaknesses, when I have um, it's like so many struggles um, that I, compared to other guys, like I felt that I just wasn't going to be able to do a good job or that I couldn't do it. Um, and then I kind of sat in silence and I looked up at the at the dome over the altar and I look at the doves that are over the altar that they represent there's 12 of them that represent the 12 apostles um, and I remembered that and then I remembered at how the Lord chose imperfect men to be his first priests his apostles um, and that for me was a beautiful moment of just the Lord like telling me through that mosaic that I don't have to be perfect, I can't be perfect. That he's not looking for perfection, but for men who are willing to follow him and allow God to lead their lives for him. That he just wants men that are able to give themselves up and love God to the point where they are able to say, Lord, I just want what you want, and I want to do what you want for me. And I just want to serve you and love you in this intimacy of what the priesthood is. So that was a beautiful moment for me of just affirmation at that point of just don't worry about what you think is fitting or what you think is right or what you think is good or proper to be a priest. God knows who he calls. God knows who he allows to come to the seminary to discern the priesthood and who he wants to be priest.